So, you have a nice 3D printer. And you have also an IDEX 3D printer because, hey, that would look cool, right? But uh, as a matter of fact, your prints look like this. Like this. I know, it looks very scary. And no matter what you tried, you don't get it right. So, uh, last few days, I was working on this machine because I want to do it. I want to get nice prints coming out of this machine in dual color or maybe even multi-material. Yeah, well, I got this cube out of my printer and it's spot on. How did I do it? I'll show you right here in this video. Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. Like mentioned, this printer, I did a live stream in September of 2021, almost two years ago. I have this machine, but I didn't print a lot with it. But let's talk about IDEX 3D printing, because most of the 3D printers with IDEX functionality will look something like this. In this machine, from factory, this should be spot on. In the instruction, it says that you have to do something with the second extruder, the second print head of this 3D printer. On the back side, there are four screws that you have to loosen up with this Allen key. There are four screws that you have to turn just a little bit to get it loose. Then use a smaller Allen key to lift the print head a little bit up or a little bit down. But why would you need to do that? That's a good question you ask. If you are going to use both print heads with duplication mode or mirror mode, these two needs to be exactly on the same height because the whole thing that you need to adjust right here on this print head has only to do with the height of the print head not with the x and y no just for the up and down of the print head so if this one is printing and it is like 0.2 millimeters that that print head is exactly with the nozzle at 0.2 millimeters or else this one sticks and this one doesn't stick they has to be on the same level in the machine there is also something called offset when you're going into the settings you will find t offset why is that one that has to do with the functionality when you are printing with multicolor, so dual color, or with two different kind of materials. It has nothing to do with duplication or mirror mode printing. Keep that in mind if you are using this kind of 3D printer or if you are considering buying a JG Maker Artist D Pro or any similar 3D printer, then be aware of that. How did I find that out? Well, it is actually pretty straightforward. If this one is printing and the other color is needed, what does this one do? This one goes on the side. It's not being used. Then this one comes and the printer is going to do the calculations for the X, Y and of course the Z offset that you have put in here in the settings of the T offset. In order to calibrate this 3D printer, First, we are going to level the first print head. Make sure to do first the midpoint of the print bed and then do all four corners. If you are at point one, use the Allen key to lower or raise the whole gantry a little bit to get your paper between the, the nozzle and the print bed and that, it, that the nozzle grips the paper without ripping it. But if you are happy with the result, then uh, go to point one and do a normal bed leveling as you normally would do. If that is done, then you are going to switch over to the second print head. Let's check how far the nozzle is from the print bed. If it is equal, like the first extruder, you don't need to do anything. I did find out that if you are going to do that, on the back side there are four screws. You have to loosen them just a little bit. If that is done, there is a screw on the top that needs a smaller Allen key. You know, going clockwise, you will press the screw down so the whole printhead is going a little bit up. Anti-clockwise, it's going to lower. If you are doing that, if you are doing that, make sure that you will press against the printhead so that there is a tension on there. Keep in mind, when you are using the screw, it doesn't go any further down as you are pressing on it. Then you take the other Allen key, the bigger one, and screw first two screws all the way in. Take your hand off, put the piece of paper back in. If the tension is still the same, not changed, then tighten all other screws and make sure that after you remove the hand, test it one more time again. Still the same gripping on the paper, 
you are good. When that is all done, you can start your first print with this IDEX printer. You can do it in uh, single mode or dual mode. Once it starts printing, see what the first cat does. If the first layer is okay, nice. But check also the second one. Does it look the same? Is it sticking as the first print head? Is it looking the same as the first extruder? Are all lines looking equally like the other one? If that is the case, well done. So now we are going to check out the T offset for the second extruder because that is going to be crucial when you are going to use dual color printing or multi-material printing. In the menu, under settings, you will find T offset. Click on there and you find the X2 offset, the Y2 offset and the Z2 offset. I have tried to get it spot on. I started with, with this one and like also mentioned in the beginning of this video, I ended up with this one. There is a whole lot of a difference. But in order to get it right, there are some instructions in the manual that you need to follow. But how to follow them? Well, standard, standard, the cube or the T is being printed in this orientation. The dark blue color is the left side, extruder one. The uh, teal color is the second extruder on the right side. Everything has to do the way you are looking at this cube. I have 15 of those to get it right. You take a caliper and you are going to measure where the offset is. In my case, the first calibration cube had an offset of 7.57 millimeters. For me, with my 7.57 millimeters here, it was way off there, so I had to go the other way. So in my case, I went to 358.5 in the end. So every single time, I had just I had to adjust it until I got it all right. After 15 models, I finally got a nice test print coming out of my JG Maker Artist D. And I do need to say, it was my very first time that I got a decent print that has two colors from this 3D printer. If you are interested in buying a JG Maker Artist D Pro or any IDEX 3D printer, please read the instructions and follow them as, as closely as possible because some things you need to do and some things you don't need to do when starting to print because most of the IDEX 3D printers are well calibrated and with a test print you can see if it is aligned yes or no. And in the end you are going to print something like that when it comes out of the build plate that it is rotating freely in all kind of directions. How awesome is that? So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. If you want to support this channel financially on a monthly base, there is Patreon and there are also YouTube tiers where you can choose from. You can also give me one time and thanks. That is also very nice. But the best way to support this channel without spending any money at all is subscribing and liking this video and also share it with other people as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace. Bye bye.